scenery around here is just it's beautiful. We're at the Blackwater National Wildlife Refuge right now. We're actually staying at a hip camp. This is the first trip that we've taken in 2022. We've been, uh, like most people, catching up with life, working, school, activities, all that fun stuff. And this weekend it was finally time to get out, get back to doing stuff that we want to make time for and spending time as a family in the outdoors. So we loaded up the truck and hit the road. Took the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel all the way over from Virginia. Jennifer managed to locate a couple hip camps over here in Maryland. We're just north of Salisbury right now. Man, she knocked it out of the park. Waterfront campsites, beautiful scenery, seclusion, not dealing with other campers or anything like that. Just a great weekend to relax. One of the other things that we're trying to do this weekend, like we do every time we go out on a trip, we're trying to learn something new, something about the area, something about history, and this time we actually get to do both. So this section of Maryland is actually known for Harriet Tubman. And Harriet Tubman, as you might know, is associated with the Underground Railroad. She was an indentured servant slave that escaped to freedom and then helped other slaves during the war escape to their freedom as well. This area is where she was born, and she was born into slavery at that point in time. Um, there's markers around that kind of show the potential area where they, they think she was born. The, the records were really poor back then. But it's really cool to <clears throat> excuse me, get, get out and experience these locations um, because honestly if you don't time forgets them that's why they're there to learn from our past learn from history so we don't make the same mistakes in the future I can go on an entire rant about tearing down history and the lessons that that thing that you just tore down teaches you but that's a that's more of a political rant so we'll stay away from that right now but history teaches us so much it's lessons learned and I think the story of Harriet Tubman not only is a tragic one about slavery and a dark side of our nation's past but it's also an uplifting one how you can come from nothing from bondage from slavery and be such an important figure in US history it really is uplifting I mean you can be anybody and you can change your life and change the lives of other people just by doing simple acts and Harriet Tubman, she's one of those people. She really is somebody to look up to because of that. It's fortunate that that information is still preserved. This weekend, we're taking the girls down that road so they get to experience that history and learn more about Harriet Tubman and why she's such an important figure in our history as a nation. Every time that we go out, we try to look for something along those lines. I'm a huge history buff, I love history, but lately, actually since before COVID, we started homeschooling our children. And we use these opportunities when we're getting out, not only to enjoy nature and learn about nature and learn about taking care of our environment, but also as a learning experience from a history standpoint, from a cultural standpoint, um, and a societal uh, standpoint, to make them better people as well. I didn't get to do a lot of that. Jennifer didn't get to do a lot of that as we traveled when we were kids. We just kind of went camping like most people do. And that was great, but it's so much better to put more meat on the bone for this and invest into it so the children understand my gosh you know this is what's so special about this place and this is what's so special about that place and it just really paints a different picture of everything so i mean it's something that we try to do we hope that you possibly try to do that too with your children even with your friends if, if you don't have children but it's just an important thing to do to get out and experience not just the landscape but experience the entire culture and immerse yourself in into that culture. That's what we've got going on this weekend. We're going to retrace some steps of Harriet Tubman. We're going to look at some cool historical markers. Why don't you guys come on along and we'll take you on a trip. Good breakfast, honey. When we're done, I can work on cleaning all this up and finish up the inside. Yeah, I'll work on the camper. The kids can continue doing what they're doing.
these ones are about halfway done, and those are new. Well, that, and it also kind of helps keep the grease at the level temperature, mm -hmm. because if you have too many at once and you're trying to cook them, then all you're going to do is cool your oil down real fast, and then by doing that, if you cool your oil down too fast, then your donut holes aren't going to cook. Where if you cram a whole bunch of them in and then like turn the heat up really high, you're just going to burn them. But the trick is also not to get so many in the oil bath there that you do run the risk of burning them because it is easier to burn them. And the other thing you can do if you don't want to go right over the oil is just put the donut hole close to the edge of the oil and just roll it back in. Try not to have them so, so hot when. Now they're starting to brown quite a bit faster. So I'm gonna turn the heat down just a little bit right now. Just until we get enough cooking at once it cools it down on its own, then we can turn it up a little bit. Perfect. Is she really mad that we were eating the donuts because they weren't up? I don't know. It kind of, kind of sounds that way. Steal the donuts. Get me. Don't steal the donuts. How was it? That's too early for this. <laughs> <laughs> it is never too early for this. It is always too early. I'm going to turn around so you can't see it. Good morning. Oh, no. Get dressed so you can eat donuts. Donut. <laughs> Apparently it's tough laying on your back. Mm -hmm. Got a yawn. Alright. 